What's good y'all, Akil here, back with another video, and today I'm going to hit up Ross to see if we can find anything to sell on eBay, but before we jump into that, just want to let you guys know I'm going live again today, 6pm Mountain Standard Time, and I'm going to be answering any eBay and or business related questions that you guys may have, so if you guys are interested in that, stay tuned for that, but without further ado, let's jump into today's Ross video. Alright y'all, so let's check out the kit section here first. I usually do either clothing or men's shoes first, but I just wanted to switch things up. So first thing I seen was this pair of Adidas Tress Runs. These were actually on clearance for only 23 bucks, size 5.5 in kids. If these were a little cheaper, I probably would have picked these up because I did find a pair of Tress Runs for like $5.99 a couple weeks ago. They haven't sold yet, but if those were cheaper, I probably would have scooped them up. Uh, here was some Air Max 720s. In this, I believe the colorway on this is like future throwback or something like that. I don't remember the colorway, but I remember seeing these in the Nike outlets pretty often, complete with box for just about the same price. So, I'm, of course, I'm scooping up all four of these. I'm going to have to check the comps and see if these particular sizes are worth it because just from prior experience, anytime I'm seeing a bunch of these shoes um, in this same size, it's probably going to be flooded. So, I'm going to have to do some research on that. Next up was this pair of Adidas shoes, also another pair um, on Clarence so i might have to check the comps on these um just drop a comment if you guys pick up size eights and stuff like that i'm seeing that size eight tends to be a tougher size to sell uh, this particular model and colorway not that popular so i might not pick those up but drop a comment let me know if you guys are um, picking up size eights all the time uh next was this pair of cleats i'm really trying to see if i can find some good shoes on clearance here but um these were size 16 for 2.99 now if these were a size Anything, even if it was a 14, I probably would have took a chance on it for $2.99. But size 16, just a little too big. Even though it's $2.99, I'm still going to have to pass on those. This was definitely a really good find. This was a pair of uh, Air Max 97s. I believe this was like a platinum and lilac colorway. Uh, really nice, really clean. I'm always coming across Air Max 97s. They don't sell as fast as I would like them to, but when I do find them, I usually always do pick them up. Now, here was a pair of Air Max 200s. Um, during the last live show, somebody asked me if I'm picking those up. And to be honest, Air Max 200s, I think it's a dope shoe, but it's just um, when it comes down to them being in the outlets complete with the box for even less than 50 bucks, for me, it doesn't make sense to pick them up in Ross. Um, wouldn't be enough profit being made. But here's a very, very random pair of shoes. I thought these were actually some Air Max, but shout out to sketches they're always uh stealing nike's ideas um they might get sued for this one as well uh here's a pair of new balance these are like i don't remember the exact number or name on those but right above those was this really really dope pair and i might have to pick these up for myself these was in a size 10 and a half as soon as i seen these of course i didn't even check comps on this yet but for 37 dollars with this salmon toe and the and man i really really do love these shoes so like I said, I don't usually get super excited about New Balance, but I'm probably going to scoop those up for the personal. And these, I'm going to see if we can uh, flip those on eBay. Just going to have to check the comps really quickly. But I do think these should be promising, especially since they're only 37 bucks. Definitely not a ton of money to invest on those. Um, here's a pair of shoes that I'm seeing a lot. Every time I go to Ross, uh, I've been about maybe four or five different Rosses, and I'm seeing these in every single one. 47 bucks. Drop a comment if you guys are picking these up. Unfortunately, I'm passing on them because I'm just seeing a little too much. I'm usually the one that always tells people be patient with shoes, but this, this pair in particular, I just don't think um, the demand for these is going to be high enough. So I'm, I'm passing on them. I've seen like five or six in the store. Drop a comment if you guys think otherwise. Um, I've seen this pair of Air Max Tailwinds. Tailwinds lately, I've been seeing a lot of them, especially for women. Um, this particular colorway, really dope, really clean. I've seen a size 5 in these as well. I definitely didn't even get those on camera. But this one in a size 12, I think I'm going to take a chance on these. I checked the comps and i seen there was others listed, but none sold. So we'll see what I do with those. Uh, now, this is crazy because I know W Taps um, New Balance. Anytime I see those, they usually do sell for a ton of money. This one isn't a size 5, which makes things kind of weird, but it's a size 5 in men. So I, th I think I might still, I'm definitely going to grab these up. I don't know how much these will sell for. I'm going to have to do some more research on these, but I know for a fact these New Balance, these 992s, go for a ton of money. So, um,. Stay tuned for that. I'll probably cover that in the recap. Um, next was this pair of Odyssey Reacts. 
really dope colorway really clean shoe 45 bucks um i checked the comps on these they were selling for like 80 some is some as low as 70 not enough profit to be made on those so i passed on them but still a really dope shoe in my opinion now this adidas jacket was really dope i seen two of these one in a size small and one in an extra large so i'm definitely grabbing these up uh 30 bucks i believe the retail price tag on there was either 100 or 75 one or the other but i do think i should be able to get some decent profit on these uh, might not come right away but i'm pretty sure i can make some money on those within the next couple of months so i'll grab that up for sure next up was this really dope pair of shorts as you guys can see they got these like 305 um almost like some type of florida connection with these shorts not exactly sure but they're in my size really dope re only 15 bucks so I'm definitely going to be taking a chance on these. As you guys see in the retail tag was 80 bucks on there. So I should definitely be able to make some decent profit on these. Alright y'all. So first up I'm going to show you guys these shorts. Because once I got home I realized that the zipper on these actually went down. I didn't even think the zipper was functional. I just thought it was like more of an aesthetic thing. But one side says Dade County. The other side just says 305 with that Nike check. But for $15 I figured this was a really good pickup. Especially since the retail price was only 80 bucks. So I'll probably price these for maybe 50 or 60 bucks um i didn't see any sales on these but other people have those listed pretty high as well and i think i have the only size small available right now so i'll be getting these listed asap and hopefully they do sell pretty quick because we only got a couple more months until for um like shorts and stuff like that to sell so i'll get those listed asap two of these um adidas jackets with the big drape uh tray foil logos on the back in the front as you guys can see the retail tag on here was a hundred bucks and i was seeing um other jackets i think in black and white other people had them listed for a hundred bucks i'm probably gonna price mine on the higher end as well i got one in a size small one in an xl i really do like this jacket but honestly i don't think i'll probably ever wear this one so i'm definitely just gonna list both of these hopefully um they sell pretty quickly but lightweight jackets like this should sell pretty quickly so i'll keep you guys updated and let you guys know how much they sell for this is something i probably will take best offer on and if you guys follow the channel you guys know i usually don't accept offers on items but this jacket in particular um i probably will accept offers on this and just charge for shipping we got this pair of tailwinds now i picked these up only because i think i'll have the only size 12 but also i didn't see any sales but everyone has theirs listed for like 110 120 i've seen some high as like 150 so i'll price mine on the higher end as well and just wait until the right buyer comes along i think this is a really dope shoe and colorway so i'm pretty confident in that one drop a comment if you guys have been seeing these in ross but um i really do like this shoe now this one i'm definitely on the fence with 35 uh 37 bucks for these shoes these were in my size and this colorway is amazing to me and i'm usually not even a new balance fan by any means but this particular colorway just blew me away so I'm on the fence if I should keep these or not. I think I seen Com selling for about a hundred bucks. So as you guys know, usually I'm always like such a fan of shoes. I, I try to keep everything, but I eventually always do sell them. But these I'm not sure about. If I can go back to Ross and see more of these in um, maybe a size 11, I'll probably keep that one instead. But like I said, really dope shoe. I seen Com selling for about a hundred. So we'll see how long those take to sell. Uh, next up was another pair of these New Balance. Um, these are the Navy Blue uh, 990s V5. So these were selling for just about a hundred bucks. Um, some is some a little more if they were complete with box. I probably price mine for a hundred and just see how those do. But New Balance, the 990s, very popular. People usually uh, spend up on those. So we'll see how long those take to sell. But they should sell pretty quickly. And last but not least, this was probably the biggest find of the day absolutely the biggest find of the day actually let me head over to the computer and try to um put some more info on on the screen for you guys so you guys can check these out all right y'all so like i was telling you guys all i did was type in new balance 992's w taps right just to see the comps on these why are the comps twelve hundred dollars people got these listed for fifteen hundred bucks this other person got seventeen hundred dollars and eleven watches so I don't know if it's all just resellers watching those just to see how much they're going to sell for. But the, the people that have these listed, it's an insane amount of money. I have no clue that New Balance sold for this much. Now, let me check. The, let me just click on the sold and completed listings just to see. Now, we have 32 results. So people are actually purchasing these shoes. And then you can scroll down and see if we got some sales for $150, $258 in a different colorway. Here's the shoe. 
that I actually found, uh, of course, without box. This person took a best offer. Um, they were asking 1200 and they took a best offer on that. Two more here. This person sold this one overseas. 911 uh, one bid $41 shipping that was uh, looks like brand new in box size 11 and then this other person took a best offer and they had theirs listed for 1600 bucks now I'm gonna price mine on the higher end clearly because I'm the only person with a size 5 I don't know how long this is gonna take to sell but I'm definitely gonna be listing mine for at least a thousand dollars I'll put on best offers and see uh, which type of offers come in but this is just an insane find like I learned something brand new every day just sneakers in general I know this has to be some type of kith collab I know kith gotta be involved with this I didn't do enough research first I'm just kind of like as soon as I came home I just hopped on camera to show you guys but like I said I'm seeing kith in a lot of the keywords so I'm pretty sure they got something to do with this but drop a comment let me know what you guys think of this shoe let me think let me know if you guys have been finding it um just just insane definitely been one of my best finds of 2020 so far but you know during, during the fourth quarter is when everybody tends to find some of the craziest stuff in ross and this is just one of many for me so i'll keep you guys posted all right y'all that's all i got for today's video so if you guys enjoyed that one don't forget to hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next one peace I'm tired.